Hello guys, welcome back to our lectures. In this lecture, we're going to continue to talk about division circuits, division hardware. So basically, this is you know the circuit that we explored last time. Uh, it was you know doing the job, but there are some remarks, and this remarks about the operation of the operation of this circuit will will lead us to the improved version of the division circuit. So. The remainder register was 64 bits, and all the time, whenever you use this circuit, you're gonna live, end up with uh, the left half of that register all zeros. And the divisor circuit will be is also 64 bit because we do shift right, and again, the left half of this will be all zeros all the time. I mean, they are not used. And we should have a quotient register of 32 bit to hold the, uh, the quotient for us. So the main idea or the main motivation is basically to combine the quotient into the remainder register. So it now shouldn't be called the remainder anymore, although they call it remainder. Because now this register, this 64 register, will contain the quotient and the remainder at the same time. So the left half will be the remainder, the right half at the end of the operation will be the quotient, as we're going to see in the improved circuit. The divisor will be uh, 32 bits, so we're going to cut it in half. And we're going to initialize the remainder register with the dividend. And the dividend is 32 bits. So now, this other circuit takes 32 bits from the remainder register, which is the part in which the, div the dividend is located, and now the divisor 32 bits. So we don't need 64 bit adder, we need only 32 bits. So if we do this, if we design it correctly, we're gonna discard the quotient register because we're gonna combine it in the remainder register. The remainder register will contain at the end our remainder and our quotient all in the same place, and the divisor will be 32 bits, the other will be 32 bits. But we should know that instead of shifting right the, uh, the divisor as we do uh, previously, we're gonna shift left the remainder. Let's, let's have an insight about this. So when we do, for example, six divided by two, we start like this. Does one zero goes into one? We said no. Then we said, does one zero goes into one one? We said yes. This is basically a shift operation. So here is the six, and here is the two. It doesn't work like this, so we're gonna shift it, so it become like this. So yes, one zero goes into one one. And this is shift uh, right. But we can do exactly the same if we shift left the dividend. So let's write it again like this. Here is one zero. We're gonna shift left the dividend. So it becomes like this. And yes, one zero guys can go into one one. Okay. So that's basically a highlight of what we should do in order to have a better circuit. Here is the better circuit. Here is the improved circuit. One sixty four register that hold the quotient and the remainder at the same time. The divisor is 32 bits. In the beginning, the remainder register will have part zero and the part with a dividend. This part is 32 bits, so we have here 32 bits, 32 bits, so the, the arithmetic operation here, the other, is only 32 bit other. So we, dec we, uh, we decrease the half of its size, which is good. Now let's see an example of how this works. Here is the algorithm of that circuit. Here is the dividend, in this case seven. So we're gonna uh, divide the seven by two. Here is the divisor two, which should give us a quotient of three and a reminder a remainder of one. So let's go step by step with this, you know, uh, algorithm. This algorithm will repeat for four times in that case because we are dealing with four bits. If it's a MIPS register, it will be 32 times. So it's different from, you know, the, the original circuit, which is 
continuous for n plus one times. So we should stop iterating after after the fourth iteration. So the first step is to shift the remainder register left by one bit. So it will become like this. Then we go into the iteration. We subtract the divisor register from the left half of the remainder register. Here is the left half of the remainder register. And here is the divisor. Of course, again, we don't do subtraction, but we do the addition with the tooth complement. So what is the tooth complement of this value, 0, 0, 1, 0? We convert it, then we add 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. We have a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 is 1 plus 0 is 1, then 1, 1. So we basically we're going to add 0, 0, 0, 0 with 1, 1, 1, 0, which will give us 1, 1, 1, 0. So the left half here will be 1, 1, 1, 0, and the right half will be the same. Then we test the, rem the remainder for the left is most significant bit if it's a zero or, or uh, if it's positive or negative so to do this we check the most significant bit which is one in that case and we know that if it's one so it's then it's uh, it's a negative like for example here's the tooth complement you see it's 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 a negative here so it's one here so if it's uh, less than zero if it's a negative we do that box here that box contains two steps the first step is to restore the original value of the device, of the left half, of course, because the right half doesn't change. So it should go back to its original value, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And then we also shift the remainder register to the left, setting its rightmost bit or the least significant bit to 0. So second step will make this register looks like this okay so this value here will be in that place so it's a two step in one in one in, in one step so here is a subtraction and here is you know the branch after the check that's one iteration so this is iteration one. We still less than four, so we're gonna go back. Again, subtract the divisor from, you know, left half of the remainder. Here is the left half of the remainder. Here is the divisor, but here is the, the tooth complement of the divisor. You don't need to do it again. You're gonna use it all the time. And we're gonna add one plus zero is one. So that's basically the new remainder register. We check the remainder if it's positive or negative. It's a negative because the most significant bit is one. That means we should restore, we should lift, uh, shift left and put zero. Restore, that means we're gonna get back the same value, which is zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero. Then we shift uh, left, so we're gonna add up another zero here. So that will be the value that we're going to use. And that is the second iteration. Still we are not 4, so we go back, we subtract. So 0, 0, 1, 1. We're going to add up to 1, 1, 1, 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. We have a carry of 1. 1, uh, 0, we have a carry of 1. 0 we have a carry of 1 this will be discarded and that's the new left half of the remainder register we tested the remainder now it's a positive so it's a positive so we go in that direction to do that what's it gonna do we, we will not restore okay we're gonna keep the value of the remainder as it is but we're gonna uh, shift the remainder now to the left but setting the right most bit to 1 so we're gonna have something like this that's the third iteration we still not four so we go back 
subtract the divisor from the you know left half of the remainder uh, 0 0 1 1 plus 1 1 1 0 the two complement of the divisor 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 we have a carry of 1 1 plus 1 0 we have a carry of 1 1 plus 1 0 we have a carry of 1 that's the new remainder we check the remainder the remainder is positive we go in that location here we shift left uh, the remainder and put one so this will be one one and that's the fourth iteration and the last one so we should go out now and do this step this is this, this step is not done we should do something here we should shift left uh, we should shift left half of the remainder right one bit. I know it's confusing. So we're gonna shift left. Let's write it in that way. Shift left. Who is gonna be shift lifted? The right half. I'm sorry. We should. Uh, I'm sorry. We should shift. Right, the left half of the remainder. So shift right. I'm gonna write it here. Shift right, the uh, left half of the remainder. So this part, this right half, will stay the same, but this will be shift uh, right. So shift right means that direction. So that means it will be zero 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 one, and we're done now. So and we know that the remainder register should contain both the quotient and the remainder. Yes, this is the quotient, the right half, and the left half is the remainder. And we know we were expecting one in the remainder. That's correct. We were expecting three in the remainder. That's also correct. Here is guys is all the you know the in more details you know but in in a form of a table that's exactly the same solution that we just did using uh, you know the bin but you know uh, just type it here with more details about what happens in each step if you are confused of the use of you know the marker after we did the is the division the improved division circuit in the multiplication lectures we uh, showed that we can do uh, you know uh, we can exhibit we can consume more hardware and do faster uh, faster multiplication okay but uh, unfortunately this is not the case here we cannot do this this uh, with the, with the division and the problem is basically lies in that part here okay because if the if the remainder was less than zero we should undo the value of you know uh, remainder we should restore the original value before the subtraction that's the problem so we can't do faster we should wait we should do step and wait until we check the the sign sign bit or we check if it's multiple or negative Fortunately, there are some faster dividers that use some so sort of division called SRT division, in which it predicts basically the sign, uh, the sign, the sign value, uh, you know, of the uh, remainder. But still, it's not so uh, fast like what we did with the multiplication. Finally, how to do uh, division? The instructions that do the division in MIPS. Uh, first of all, we still gonna use the high and low registers, like just like the the multiplication. But now, the high register will contain the remainder, and the low register will contain the quotient. We have two instructions: the div instruction for signed integers, and div unsigned for unsigned integers. And luckily for the division here, it's really simple to detect what will be the sign of the result basically if uh, if both are positive the output will be positive if both are negative the output will be positive but if the, it's like xor if they have different uh, signs then the output will be negative so like 
8 divided by 2, this is positive, 4. Uh, minus 8 divided by minus 2, this is also positive 4. So, minus 8 divided by 2 is minus 4. And 8 divided by minus 2 is basically minus 4. So, if they have the same sign, the output will be positive. If they have different signs, the output will be negative. So, it's easy to do here. And also, we don't have overflow. That's also very good. Because we know that the output should be all the time less than the input. Like, for, uh, you know, uh, at least the maximum the input. And to use the high and low register values, we use again uh, move high byte and move low, uh, move high and move low uh, instructions to access this high and low registers. That's it, guys, for the division. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.